My guest today is Tom Palandino, a researcher and humanitarian seeking to make a difference in the world by providing people with the education and tools to restore optimal health and by helping enhance their quality of life. In today's episode, we talk about the emerging science of scholar light and how it can enhance your life. Welcome to Lifeology. Thank you, James. Pleasure to be here. I am looking forward to this. I was reading the information about that. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is scholar light? But before we get to that, how did you even get into this, this world of physics or this world of emerging spirituality and, and health and wellness? You know, Nikola Tessa, the great scientist, spearheaded my thoughts. This is when I was a youngster. And I knew that he was had achieved great things with this research, scalar energy. Uh-huh. So I said, well, I'll follow in his footsteps. And here I am 50 years later. Wow. What was it specifically about the light or the energy that really drew you to, to this field? It's, it's pure, clean, and an infinite supply of energy. This energy from mm. the sun and the stars will solve our energy needs. It will solve the mm. energy crisis. Wow. Well, let's transition into that. What is scholar light? It's very simply stated, it's sunlight, starlight. It's the life force energy of the universe. It's the energy that if you will, pervades the universe, it gives meaning, it gives expression to the entire universe. And to me, it's much more important than electricity, which I think is a subset sure. of scalar energy. Sure, I can see that. That makes sense. Okay, that's interesting. So we say the light itself. So obviously there's light everywhere. And so there's different frequencies and different spectrum of light. For the, for those of us who are not the expert, like you, of course, how would that make sense? So we see light. So is it light anywhere or energy anywhere? Or does it? how does that make sense when it comes to what we can see? Yeah, in reference to our world and our everyday life on planet Earth, <clears throat> scalar energy is everywhere. Yes, it's invisible, but it's responsible for all phenomenon. And once mm. people realize that this energy, which is fundamental, obviously, mm-hmm. is responsible for action in, in the universe, including on planet Earth, then then they'll pay heed to this and they'll see just how important this mm. is. With with the energy that it's created, so it's the energy of you said of life of creation. Uh, <laughs> That was something where when it permeates someone, I'm sure we'll talk about the methodologies as well, because I know you have 15 free sessions for, uh, for people as well. W- when people actually incorporate this in their life, what are some changes that people see? Yeah. Well, what we recognize that scalar energy you have the ability to balance the chakras or the meridians. If this is the okay. life force energy, it should give a re-life or a reboot mm-hmm. to our mind, our brain waves, mm-hmm. and our seven chakras. And many people say that, yes, this has helped them with depression or anxiety Mm-hmm. Others have said that the, this chakra balancing will help erase or some way subdue their desire for drugs and alcohol. Mm-hmm. So that's those are some of the benefits to be derived from this energy. Wow. And how would someone even, how do you implement? What's the methodology that's used for that? You know, it, it's quite unique. On the count of fact, I'm working with scalar energy and not electricity. I work with mm-hmm. people by way of their photograph. People will oh, email me their photograph, and I actually place their photograph, which is a signature of light. I place a photograph uh-huh. of a person inside uh-huh. our instrument, and that's how I make a connection to the, the person's energy field. This is not a biological process. It's an informational uh-huh. process. Interesting. So when a picture is taken, um, and so it's it's encapsulated in light, I suppose. It isn't light. So from that, that creates almost like a a snapshot of the person's yes. health, wellness, et cetera. Interesting. I've yeah, never heard of that before. Yeah. It's quite profound. Yeah. You're right. And exactly. So how do, once they, once you see that, you scan it in, so you see that the methodology you use is, is able to, does it use equations, et cetera? So when you see this, you're like, oh, this is what, this is what that means. How are you able to translate the photo into the scholar light, into the healing? Yeah. Well, when I simply place a photograph in this environment of scalar energy, the energy is all knowing. This is the life force mm-hmm. energy of the universe. So I don't interpret this energy, nor do I download it or apply it. Oh, to okay. me, it's okay. a divine energy. In, and if you will, it's if you will, it, it has that intelligence inbuilt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember there's a study that was done, and oh, God, it was so long ago that I read this. I'm sure I'm going to butcher it. I read this study where someone was taken, a person was, there's a vial of blood that was taken from a person. It was moved to another room. And so the person that was experiencing something post the removal of the blood, uh, a little bit of stress, tension, all of a sudden you found that, and they're different the blood changed all of a sudden in the, in the blood that was removed from that person prior to this uh, experiment happening, that blood also experienced the same type of yes. change because it remembers the memory of the cellular memory of the person. And, but there's still that connection. So in that, it's, I'm assuming that that's similar to that. So the snapshot you create, and obviously different science, different version of science, but that's kind of the same type of thing where you create this 
And so even though the photo of the person may be away yes. from them, it still resonates with that energy. Yes, precisely. That's ingenious. Two drops of blood can communicate with one another, mm -hmm. as well as a photograph and a person, which is my bilocated version, can communicate mm -hmm. with me precisely. Wow, that's really fascinating. So when that happens, when once it's put in, I'm assuming the chamber, I'm, I'm uh, wherever this photo is taken. Wh what's the process then? So it just automatically happens? Is it over a period yeah. of time? Walk me through that. Sure. Uh, when I place a person's photograph in this chamber, if you will, I administer the energy for one hour, which is a chakra balancing. Within that one okay. hour, people say that they have a feeling of tranquility. Now, mm -hmm. there's another process whereby I take uh, another uh, approach in which I'll use a photograph of, say, a vitamin. This is a photograph of vitamin E, and I can actually download vitamin E into a person by way of their photo. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That is, I've never heard of something like that before. No, that's, this, that's this, really... this is groundbreaking, James. This, this, you're, you're yeah. dealing with, you know, the cutting edge technology. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, I can't wait for more people to discover this as well. With, yeah. When you say you administer the light, how do you capture that light or how do you translate it from? Yep. They're, how does it they're, work? They're scientific instruments. If, if, a, mm -hmm. if a computer can control information, my instrument, Scalar Energy, controls likewise the information of the universe. There's a big difference, though. A mm -hmm. computer, you have to program. Scalar Energy is pre-programmed. It, it's the intelligence, the omnipresence of God. It's so important to realize that. So... Uh, the, the learning curve here is you let the energy do the healing. I'm not a healer. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's this um, application of this divine energy, the life force that provides the healing. How did you develop this technology? I mean, I know it's been a rabbit. How did you develop it to uh, for the administration of it? Rather, long, long story short, I made an I met an American inventor, the Hieronymus family. Galen Hieronymus was one of the few scalar energy pioneers. I met the family back in 1993, and I developed my instruments and my theories from their seminal, groundbreaking work. Wow, that's fascinating. Now, are you the only practitioner that does this? Is that, I suppose besides them. Y yes, in, in particular, why? Because the instruments are unique. My approach is mm -hmm. unique. And nobody's been able to duplicate this, this approach. So right now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm the only person around that's doing this. Wow. That's, I'm sure that's a blessing and a burden, you know, the pioneer in something. And so, you know, you have people who may not be familiar with this or don't agree with it. And so we have the naysayers, but then you also are learning the, the people are seeing the benefits of it as well. How, is, how could this translate into, um, into mainstream? Uh, people are seeing results. I'm all about results. This, this is mm -hmm. not, as we say, a fairy tale. This, this is a scientific approach that produces tangible results. For instance, mm -hmm. people will come to me and they say, Tom, I, I have the herpes virus. Well, mm -hmm. I'm able to take their photograph, place it inside mm -hmm. the instrument, and the instrument can pinpoint on their photograph the presence of herpes and then send a signal into that photograph to negate the life force, to is you will disrupt the molecular bonds of the herpes sure. virus. Now, what's the upshot? The upshot is after I work with a person's photograph, everybody that I've ever worked with reports that they no longer have a viral load for herpes. Wow. Everybody. Wow. Yes. That's, that's fan I mean, obviously that's fantastic and for so many levels and so many levels. And, and wow, that's, that's, I've never heard of something. Once again, never heard of something like that before that, and so with that, the, the sounds like it can be translated to other, other um, diseases or ailments as well? Yes, all, all types of pathogens. We can detect the signal of a pathogen and negate it or reverse its signal, meaning what? The, the pathogen fragments, it falls apart. All of this is by informational science. This, this is not mm -hmm. an in-person biological process. Mm -hmm. Which obviously was, it makes it even better because if you, you can do it from anywhere <laughs> and yes. so that people can see have those health benefits as well exactly. now, if it's safer exactly so if someone experiences this they, they go through this process they experience it and then obviously we have to be smart we can't just keep reintroducing things in our life but like i can live however i want because the scholar light is going to change it um how does this how does this continually help the benefits of people uh, as they continue to do this you know, how, well, if people do this on an ongoing basis, we constantly have the ability to download into their auric field and into their, mm -hmm. if you will, scalar energy dimension, nutrients, which serves to, mm -hmm. in many ways, improve their constitution. I think it prolongs 
their life. I think this slows down mm-hmm. the aging process. If I can do away or reduce free radical damage by way of nutrition, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. should help significantly. Yeah, one would, one would, yeah, that, that makes sense. The, uh, so you said if, if people do this ongoing, so what's what's the process? What's the normal uh, time frame where people would do this? It, it's very simple. People visit the website, they sign up for a 15 day free session, and they just email us a photograph. All you have to do is set a headshot. That's it. And the age of the photograph mm-hmm. doesn't matter. And the following day, we upload the photograph and we start with the chakra balancing, uh, pathogenic lens, and then the vitamin mineral program. And we work wow. with people 24 hours a day. So they're under our, if you will, care by way of the scalar mm-hmm. energy instrument around the clock. And the majority of people say that they feel better after two weeks. The majority. Wow. That's really impressive. With that, because obviously you have, you have the pre- questionnaire and then you have the post post 15 15 days over the questionnaire so you can have the the pre and post responses yes yes we do and that way we we prod people we tell people what do you feel how how do you feel now and then after the sessions we say what benefit can you tell me the before and after Mm -hmm. consequence and that that serves to really if you will uh, uh, channel a person along those lines to say yes this has helped me yeah and so with that, with overall, I mean, in doing this, it's so more, it's beyond 15 days. Cause we have, it's, it's a, it's services you offer. It's a business as well. How often would you recommend that people continue to do this? Uh, we leave that up to the person. Some people are convinced mm-hmm. that we have a year long program. Some people sign up for the year long yep. program, but we, we don't necessarily recommend that. We break it down into 30 days to make this easy mm-hmm. and affordable, a 30 day session. Mm-hmm. And then we leave it up to the people. And that's sure. the key because I cannot make the decision for them as to their health. So they have a unilateral yeah. decision here. Yeah, which makes sense as well. I mean, so obviously as people continue to see the benefits and it's, I'm sure it's a really good as well to look at the very first intake yes. question that they had and then yes. continue to match that with how they're feeling to see that the balance as well. Because like you said, the results speak for itself. Exactly, that's it, precisely. When you've, well, well let me back up. For how long have you been doing this? Uh, in theory, 50 years, and in practice now, with application of instruments, 30 years. Oh, wow. So this is definitely, this is not something new for you. I mean, obviously, I knew that already. Yeah. So with all the people you've worked with, what is the most interesting and most drastic change or response that you've had? Okay. As a broad-scale approach, we're working with a clinic in Delhi, India, an HIV clinic in Delhi, India. Mm. We've worked with 5,000 people in Delhi, India. And after the, these people submit their photograph, everybody's reporting an improvement in their health. And some of them have had a follow-up PCR test, and there's no viral load after the scalar energy sessions. There's no viral load for HIV. Wow. that I keep saying wow. <laughs> with Why do you think, and, and I'm putting words in here because I don't know if that's the case or not, with Western science and your applications, which is also science as well, what do you think the... The struggle is is for some people to get on board with this. Yeah. People have to realize that there's two dimensions. There's two energies. We, mm-hmm. We're taught in academia that the, uh, about the electromagnetic spectrum, which is accurate. Mm-hmm. But there's another energy spectrum. They call it quantum energy, zero-point energy, scalar mm-hmm. energy. Mm-hmm. And this is what Tesla discovered. He called it radiant energy. And <clears throat> he's right. There's two approaches. There's two energies. There's two dimensions. We simply need an acceptance that their science is valid, and then we should mm-hmm. pursue that course. Yeah. And so for why do you think that for majority of people have only gone in the one direction instead of the they've, scholar they've direction? Been pro- they've been programmed. Academia programs yeah. them just to concentrate on electromagnetic energy. It's a shame. Mm. There's two yeah. energies. Oh. Yeah, it's unfortunate, especially if it's... Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, and you know, it is unfortunate that it's not studied more. I mean, obviously, most people who may not know who Nikola Tesla is, he's one of the most brilliant mathematicians ever, discovered so much um, and taught us so much the Tesla, <laughs> Tesla yeah. coil. I mean, all of that is something that we can definitely learn from him as well. Yeah, precisely. Yep. What are some things you want to do mo- with this moving forward, and what's your goal with all this? Well, on account of the fact that I could work with millions of photographs a day if the photographs are miniaturized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to start a global he- global healing ministry. I want to be able to provide wow. quantum health for the world. Hundreds of th- millions of yeah. people a year should sign up for this program. It's simple. Yeah, it, it definitely sounds simple. Can, uh, can you actually do that? Can you put multiple photos in the, the, the device as well? Oh, okay. So like that, how I just saw that as well? 
I, I can treat people simultaneous, simultaneously. Simultaneously today in my laboratory, I treated probably half a million photographs. Holy cow! Yeah, that is amazing. This, this is real, James. This is about to hit yeah. the, the, the 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 public venue. This is real. Yeah. How exciting is that for you? How does that feel for you to know that you can help that many people? You know, it's just it's a blessing. You know, it's very yeah. humbling. It's a blessing. I every day I thank God for this career path. It's a blessing. Mm. That's it. It's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, helping so many people and helping to change their lives not only gives them hope, but it also gives, affords them a quality of life. And the goal is then to be able to translate that to the people around them as well, which then changes, creates a global movement. Yes, that's the key. And that's how we Mm -hmm. become a global movement. Well, you start with one X, but eventually it'll grow to 10 X and then a thousand X and a million X. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Yeah. With what are some of the struggles that some people have, you know, not, not as far as the, so they can send you the photos, but what are some of the things that, you know, some of the questions that you get regarding this process? It, it, it's a new science and people have to realize that everything has energy, including a person's photograph. My photograph mm-hmm. has one signature, my signature. And when you're working with a scattered energy environment, you bi locate. I never work with people in the flesh. I work with their mm-hmm. bi-located version of photograph. So people can bilocate by way of a photograph or, or an animal mm-hmm. or a pet. And once people realize that bilocation in the scalar realm, which is quantum entanglement, is real, then they get it. So in that, so when we think of the quantum entanglement, there's it's not there's no distance, if you will, yeah. between that because yes. it's all interrelated and connected to such a degree yeah. that, you know, for example, in the and I'm not a physicist here, but in the sense of you and I could actually just reach out and touch each other through that quantum aspect because there's no, yes, there's no distance in that, in that realm. Brilliant. Just as we're having this discussion by video, you're not in my home. I'm not in your mm-hmm. home, but we're mm-hmm. having at a distance, this instantaneous communication. Well, a photograph and a scale energy instrument offers instantaneous communication. Wow. Well, I, out of curiosity, so if it, is there, does it change over time as far as, I mean, I know that, well, because you're coming from more of a, 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 I'm assuming more of a cellular energy level as opposed to how, obviously not how people look, but it's the snapshot, it's muddling through this as I say this aloud. So it says it creates the energy blueprint or footprint, if you will. So even it doesn't matter if it was taken when I was a kid versus I'm older, it's still my cellular aspect. Yes. A photograph is always in the present moment. This photograph might be two years old. It's still in today's present moment. Why? There's no Mm -hmm. time or space in a Mm -hmm. scalar energy. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So it still goes back to the same dimension. So we, as we talked about, I think that's one thing to consider is when it comes to dimensional aspects, there's time, what is it? Time, space, distance. What's the, is there one more missing? Uh, So with that, with this quantum entanglement, there's none of those are quote, relevant, and I say that in a very um, non educated way, <laughs> not relevant in the sense of there's nothing that stops them from time is time and space is space, and it's all interconnected at one time. Bravo. You're brilliant. That's yes. it. Well, End of story. <laughs> <thank you. laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. So you tell me more about the 15-day session that you offer for people. Why do we do that? 15 days because this is new. It's esoteric. I realize that. Send in your mm-hmm. photograph. That's all we ask you to do. Just a bus shot. We do the rest. We'll send you daily emails explaining to you this process. Scalarlight.com could not be any easier. That's the best way to introduce this to humanity. Hmm. Yeah. And what, of course, you want once that the benefit of that as well is highly encourage the people who are, have worked with you and the benefits to see to tell other people about about it as well grassroots phenomenon yes thank you yes good yeah yeah my pleasure what more um what's next for you so i know you wanted to create this movement but what's what's next for scalar energy scalarlight.com if scalar energy controls the universe by way of instructions we'll eventually be able to create uh anti-gravity instruments we'll eventually have scalar energy to power our homes free energy from the sun and the Mm. stars this is what tess envisioned free energy from the sun so it, it's unlimited. It's unlimited. Yes. So for now, we're doing the the biohacking, if you will, for people's um, yes. health benefits. But from that, you want to be able to translate that to all aspects of an application. Exactly. Yes. How far along do you think that'll be before that happens? Within 10 years. If God gives me the wisdom, you'll have me back and we'll speak about that within the next 10 mm-hmm. years. 
Yeah, that would be really interesting. I'm obviously to see that the more utilitarian and practical applications of this beyond yeah. one's health and longevity, I think would be fantastic. I mean, like you said, that was Tesla's vision. Um, yeah. For it's my vision, yeah, like this vision, and yours as well. Yeah, of course, which is super, really, really exciting. Unfortunately, our time is up. Tom, if my viewers and listeners want to find out more information about you, to learn more about Scholar Light, and to get the 15 day um, working with you for 15 days, where would they find all this information online? It's it's the website, scalarlight.com, S C A L A R, scalarlight.com. Visit the website. We've, I've written 300 articles regarding my work and the research of other re Scalar Light researchers. That will give you a foothold as to what we're doing. Then, if you're inclined, send your photograph. You can send a photograph also of family and friends. You can include mm -hmm. your pets. We'll treat your entire family with their permission. And after 15 days, you will probably see a positive shift in your health. That's wonderful. I'm super excited to hear what happens with my viewers and listeners. Go to scholarlight.com. Tom, thank you so much for being a fantastic guest on my show today. My viewers and listeners also know they can't find this information any other place. Simply go to the show notes at jamesmillerlifeology.com and I'll have all this information as well. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate your, all your wisdom as well. Thank you, James.